to beat Trump and, and give us a chance of surviving on this planet. The elders know it's time to go. The elders know it's time to go. The doctors 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 know it's time to go. Joe Biden is decrepit and old. We need someone who can bring us through every single state, knock on doors, someone who makes you want to go out in the heat, in the cold, someone who makes you want to say, I am excited to vote for you. People are holding their noses voting for Biden. They are saying, fine, I'll do it for democracy's sake, but we need someone who makes us want to fight for democracy, someone who is democracy itself. I'm not proud to campaign for Joe Biden in 2024. That's How many of us campaigned for Biden in 2020? Woo. How many of us voted for Biden in 2020? Woo. How many of us want him to step aside and pass the torch? <laughs> Joe, you've done so many good things for our country. We have our differences, yes. But I appreciate everything you've done to uh, uh, beat Trump and preserve our democracy. But to beat Trump this time, we need a new leader. We need a new standard bearer. We need someone younger who has the mental capacity to fight back against the lies, the dangerous, horrible lies of Donald Trump. The rising tides have stepped aside. 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 We ask, I ask for Joe Biden to step aside, to pass the torch and allow the youth and the next generation to thrive and show just how amazing they are and how amazing they can be and how they can push the far right all the way away uh, and show them just how cowardly they are and just how brave that we are. His um, performance in the debate, I mean obviously a lot of people have talked about that already, but um, I think it just was a moment for myself and for many other Democratic voters where it just became very starkly clear that um, that expecting him to be president for another four years is just not realistic. Um, I think that the presidency is a wearing job on anyone uh, at any age, and so for him at his age, um, and just with his performance at the debate, I think that um, that a lot of us just felt like it was suddenly in in um, kind of stark relief that he was not um, not equipped to be the candidate in 2024. My name is Laura Butterworth. I've been on the Marianne Williamson campaign for president for almost a year. We're very concerned that Marianne Williamson has been suppressed by CNN and other news medias. She has been speaking around the country and has been on the ballot in over 40 states. She has had over half a million votes and we think that she should be included in the debates and that her name should be used. There's been some suppression of her as a woman, as a Jewish woman, we are calling for this to stop. We are hoping that you will look Marianne up at Marianne2024.com and post and like our responses online. I'm Laura Butterworth for Marianne Williamson for